Welcome to Retro Football Night in America. From the world capital of space exploration and capital punishment, Houston welcomes New England for a much anticipated game in prime time. I'm Fish Fisher alongside my partner, Colt Coulter. Colt, New England comes in tonight with five victories and only one defeat. What has been the key to their success? Well, Fish, the legend under center is the engine that drives this team, Tom Goatsey. With more rings than can fit on one hand, this old fella is still out there taking the young bucks to school. He continually disproves the doubters every season, and I wonder if this dude won't retire till he drops dead on the field. His counterpart on this 3-4 and four Houston squad faces doubters of his own, but for different reasons. He's yet to live up to the expectations that come with being drafted number one overall. Now, Fish, performance anxiety affects a lot of men, and it can really keep you down. New England's defense will look to keep Garvin down, too, with their blitz-heavy scheme. Their front seven has tortured opponents all year by bringing extra rushes more than any other defense and relying on their star DBs to keep plays in front of them. Garvin better get rid of the rock quick tonight. Now it's time to meet the rest of his squad for tonight. Jamal Luck, Marshall. Call a savage. Texas Tech. Ted, are you party? Agna Cub Loud. FSU. Kayla Sims. Honolulu Rec Council. Veteran wide receiver Nick Leggett is predicted to miss four weeks, which leaves this offense with one less weapon. Our reporter Wolfie Wolfson asked Coach Smegman at practice about any adjustments he'll make. Coach, are you guys f without Leggett? There's only one ball on the field at any time, and these guys can only touch it so many times. I say, let's let these guys touch balls in places they're not used to. Maybe some holes will open up if they do. Uh, Colt? Coach Schmegman always hits the nail on the head. I expect to see some new looks out of the Houston offense tonight. If you say so. Well, we are all set for football as Sims kicks this one off. Walker with the return. He's coming across the 15, makes a deke, and he is brought down by the 25. Let's take this moment to meet the New England offense. Tom Goatsey, Michigan. By committee, the, the waiver wire. Wes Walker, West Texas Preschool. Jules Edelguy, Kent State. Rob Rukowski, the MCU. New England's in a tough third and ten as Goatsy goes over the middle to Walker as he dives and catches it. First down, New England. After a four-yard run, it's second and six. Goatsy drops back, finds Edelguy on the outside. He cuts back in and picks up 15. Here comes New England. Goatsy in the gun. He'll hand it to by committee and he will pick up another four. Second and six. Screen pass to Edelguy. He makes a man miss and gets eight. New England's marching here as Houston will send the blitz. And Gozi launches it down the middle and Hulkowski comes down with it for 17 yards. Big play by a big man. They gotta watch out for him today. First and 10 for New England in the red zone. Gozi dropping back against the blitz. Wide open is West Walker for the touchdown. New England strikes first. Houston sends a blitz, and they haven't had any success with getting pressure on quarterbacks. This was a foregone conclusion. With New England kicking off, let's meet their defensive starters for tonight. Seymour Dick, Balsa Deep University. Hey, Brewski, body built by Budweiser. Lawyer Law. Dun, dun. After the touchback, it's going to be a throw from Garvin, and he finds Savage over the top and gets 25 yards on their first play today. Well, Savage got the step on Loyal Law, but he's able to recover and bring him down. Garvin sets up in the single back. Locke gets the handoff. He cuts inside, breaks a couple tackles, and gets seven. They come back out in the pistol. Garvin looking to throw it this time, and New England gets to him! Here comes Bear Brewski and Seymour Dick screaming off the edge. They gotta give him some help or get the ball out quicker. Garvin will throw on third and ten, and he finds the tight end down the seam. Wide open. 
gets the first down, and that will take us to the end of the first quarter. So far, New England has shown that ball control may have a big impact in this game as they took up a minute and 23 seconds with their first drive. What have you seen from Houston so far, Colt? They've been getting chunk plays to start their drive, but Garvin has got to get the ball out quicker if he doesn't want to get hugged all day by Bear Brewski. It's 7-0 New England as we head back to the field. Houston comes out in the gun, locks it off to the right. It'll be a handoff to him. He goes up the middle and he hurdles over the defenders. He is all by himself. It's a foot race and he's dragged down right before the goal line. 37 yards for Locke. New England run commits and that lets Locke just hop over these two Goombas like he's Mario. Too bad he's got the stamina of an Italian plumber. Houston sets up in the gun just outside the one yard line. Garvin's gonna throw it. No, he takes off and he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston! I know statues can run, Fish, but check Garvin out as he puts up six for Houston. Houston kicks off the ball to New England. Wes Walker back to return. He will bring this one out and get himself outside up to the 29. Tom Goatsey and company come out in the gun. It's gonna be another throw. He's trying to find a receiver and there's a little miscommunication. Second down, Goatsey from the pistol, throws a quick screen to Wes Walker and he's dragged down by Ayupati. Seven yard gain. Third down here, Goatsy over the top. Oh Little guy comes down with it for 16. This New England offense is one of the best on third down and Edel guy's a big reason why. Just finds enough room to make the catch. New set of downs for New England as Goatsy hands it off to committee and he's wrecked by Ayupati. Second down, Goatsy will throw. This time by committee catches the ball and gets another three. Another big third down. Goatsy over the middle, wide open is Holkowski, and he smashes through the defenders. Ayupati's just able to recover and drag him down. Oh, Fish, he's big, he's powerful, and he's angry. Check out Holkowski, he nearly had the touchdown, and Ayupati saved their asses. In the red zone for New England, Goatsy hands it off to by committee, and he's nearly into the end zone, slicing through the defense for six. Goatsy in the pistol, calling things out at the line. He'll throw, looking at guy's way, and Committee sneaks in for the touchdown! Now you can think this is either a mistake by Goatsy throwing late to Edelguy, or just a heads up play by the running back. Either way, Houston can't get stops today. New England kicks off with just 40 seconds left in this game. It's a deep one and Savage will put a knee down. From the 25, Houston in the gun. Garvin's gonna look to throw on first down. He finds Savage over the top for the second time today. He wisely gets out of bounds for 27 yards. This is heads up by Savage. He knows the situation and gives his team a chance still with two timeouts. Just across the 50, Garvin from the single back. They hand it to Locke and he breaks a tackle. Here goes Locke, cuts back inside and brings him down to the 30. Oh boy, Locke's had a big day today breaking tackles as he squeaks past a few more defenders to get an extra couple yards. Houston's had big plays all game long. It's first down and 10 from the 30. It's another handoff to Locke. He squeezes through more defenders and gets out of bounds. Second and three. Garvin calling something at the line. Looking for a play he wants. He finds it. He's gonna go over the top. No, checks it down to Locke who picks up 12. Four seconds remaining in the half as they take the timeout. Schmegman sends the offense back out onto the field. Garvin going up top, and Savage comes down with My it. God. Touchdown, Houston! I don't think I've ever seen Garvin play this way with so much confidence. Something must have inspired him. An unbelievable last drive by Houston to tie this game up, heading into the half. Let's head down to the sideline with Wolfie Wolfson. Fish, the Houston bench exploded as Savage pulled that TD catch in for his third grab of the half. But the receiver isn't the only man on the squad having a big game as Jamal Locke turned just four carries into 69 yards. Nice. Garvin was nearly flawless too as the team averaged over 14 yards per play through the first half. 
While Houston's offense exposed New England's blitz-heavy scheme, Tom Goetze and his squad engineered two methodical DD drives of their own. The QB spread the ball out to his receivers, and Polkowski has smashed and grabbed his way down the seam all game long. The score is tied, but Coach Smegman's squad seemingly has all the momentum and receives the ball to start the second half. Back to you, Fish. Thank you there, Wolfie. We'll be back right after this message from our sponsors on RBTV. You think you can beat Retro Sport Radio at Retro Bowl? Obviously. He sucks. You want him to make videos about your team? As they fight for the seventh spot in the Gridiron Conference, both teams enter the matchup 3-0 through the segment, and Dayton kept themselves in the hunt by squeaking out the 32-28 victory. He might if he ever gets off his lazy ass. Join the RFNA on Twitter by DMing at RFNAG and rub it in Retro Sport Radio's face when you crush him. Welcome back to Houston for this primetime game on RBTV. The second half action is underway as Savage is set to return this from within his own five. The star receiver handles return duties as he crosses the 20 and breaks a couple tackles. He slices inside, but he's dragged down. Houston will start this drive at their own 32 with a pass over to Locke outside, and he gets nine on the first play of the drive. Second and one here from Houston. Another throw, finding Locke, and that's a first down. That's Locke's third catch of the game, and here he gets the handoff. He'll pick up just three on this run. New England bringing Blitz again as they hand it out to Locke. He tries to squeak outside and he's decked. Third down here for Garvin. He's gonna throw it underneath to Savage on the comeback. Will it be a first down? No. Schmegman deciding he sends the offense back out onto the field. Garvin, fourth and inches. Hands it to lock his fifth touch of the drive, and he's got it! Just enough for the first down. New England's bringing the pressure here again, Fish. And they're able to wrap up lock on this carry. Second and 10, Garvin under center. He's gonna throw. Looking Savage's way, he makes the catch, and he's got a little room, and glitches through all the defenders! Go. go home, Savage, go home! With a little style! Touchdown, Houston! Savage is just an athletic beast. It's like he defied the laws of physics as he no clip between Loyal Law and his teammates. Houston comes out and takes the lead just like that. 21 to 14 as they kick this one back to New England. Walker takes it back out from deep in the end zone and he's wrapped up here right around the 18. Goatsy will hand it off to by committee and picks up five. It's their best run of the day. Second down. Another run here by committee, and it's wrapped up by Ayupati. Third down, Goatsy goes over the middle and finds Walker. 14 yards and a new set of downs for New England. By committee getting a lot of carries and finding some room finally. Here comes Goatsy from the gun, looking for his running back, but Edelguy comes down with it. Another 14 yards, Houston can't catch a break. Screen pass here to Walker. Just grabbed them by the toes before it could be a big play. And that will bring us to the end of the third quarter. New England's fast-paced West Coast offense is chewing up Houston. Ayupati's about the only guy who's made any plays. The Pats have picked up the pace on offense, and that should leave Houston some time for one more drive, even if they can't get a stop here. If Garvin gets one more shot at this, he better keep his eyes open for Seymour Dick. New England sent eight rushers over 40% of the time tonight. It's time to put up your fours with Houston trying to hold on to their seven point lead. New England comes out in the gun, starting the fourth quarter. Goatsy looking for a throw and Hokowski dies for that one. New set of downs. Goatsy looking his way again and he dies for another one. Second and in inches, the hand to by committee and he's just short of the line. Yes, third down. Can Houston get the stop? Goatsy drops back. He tosses it to Holkowski, who smashes the ball down. Touchdown, New England. He's been a problem for Houston all day, and they decide to put two linebackers on him. You'd need an army to stop that big fella. New England kicks this one off to Houston. Garvin and his teammates will have 148 to get points on the board in order to win this game. Savage finding a little room to the outside, and they'll start at their own 27. Houston's been getting big plays all day, but they don't need a rush here. 
I'd be surprised to see them keep throwing. But there they go. Savage over the middle for eight yards. It's second and two. Here comes the handoff to Locke. Just short of the down marker. Big third down. New England bringing pressure. And Locke is able to get the first down. Pardon my pun, Fish, but New England's locked him up in the second half. God damn it, Colt. Screen pass goes for four yards here. Second and six. Here comes a New England blitz. Garvin looking over the middle, and he finds the check down to Locke. 16 yards. He has been a receiving threat through the second half, though. I know they've been working on some new offensive schemes, but that is not what I expected. And neither did the defense. Houston is across midfield. A field goal could win the game for them. Garvin calling something out at the line. It's a handoff to Locke. He's got a little room and picks up five. If you're Schmegman, you're thinking touchdown or trying to get Sims into position to score. Locke gets five more. I wonder if he trusts him enough to kick the field goal. Third and inches, can they get closer? Yes, they can! 10 yard slant to Savage! They are down to the 22. Oh no, Schmegman's a gambler, but 22 yards is still pretty far out. And Locke takes a handoff for no gain. It's decision time for Schmegman. Will he trust Sims or go for the touchdown? He's opted for three. Sims, the 36 yarder is up and it's good! It's good! Sims, redemption! Koa Sims gets the job done for Houston. They earned the W in their best offensive game of the season. Delance Garvin and company out duel Tom Gosey on the biggest regular season stage. The rookie Savage and Locke more than picked up the slack while Leggett nurses his injury, and Sims didn't shy away from his moment. Let's join Coach Megman's press conference as he comments on his team's performance. If someone doesn't respect you, it's their problem. If you don't respect yourself, well then you're in for a bitch of a life. Tonight, we took their disrespect and made it our bitch. That's what New England's defense gets for blitzing all game long. Uh, sure. Delance Garvin also met with the media after his impressive game. Well, yeah, some of Coach's adjustments help, but more than anything, I knew Monte Heron and his wife would be watching since it was prime time. I always aim to please her. Houston's offense delivered, but their defense couldn't get a stop. Ayupati showed off his range and played sideline to sideline, but he will face an entirely different animal next week when Houston travels to Tennessee. Hank the Tank pinch drank touchdowns earlier today, and I think he may have a problem. Similar to his teammate Calvin Parlay, but instead of gambling, he just can't stop scoring. You'll be able to catch every play of that game when we return. For Wolfie Wolfson and Colt Coulter, I'm Fish Fisher. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Tennessee on RBTV.